Paper. This podcast is at the intermediate level. It requires some knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Hebrew or of Greek. Accordance 12 added a new feature called Paper. It allows us to write sermons, lectures, and articles within Accordance without ever leaving the program. If you write a lot, you'll find it just makes life easier. Want to know how? Let's take a look. Paper can be used to write virtually anything, but we designed it for those of us in biblical studies and related fields. That means pastors and professors, rabbis and writers, students and study leaders of all kinds. What kinds of things can we write? Sermons for one, Bible studies for another. We also regularly write classroom lectures. Blogs are becoming more popular, and of course there are all the professional articles. Commentaries also come to mind, as do larger projects like books. In fact, paper is well suited for any kind of writing that draws heavily on accordance resources. That leads directly to the next question. With all the dedicated word processors out there, why write in paper? First, we can write without leaving accordance. We can also start writing quickly by selecting the most appropriate paper template. Paper's templates are all specific to our discipline, like sermons, lectures, and articles. We'll then be able to organize our thoughts easily with the auto-enumerating outline, and copy and paste efficiently from all our accordance resources. That includes being able to drag and drop items directly from our stacks, which means we will save time with an auto endnote and bibliography for every stack item. Yes, Accordance will also format them for us properly, including automatically adjusting the format for subsequent references to the same source. We can also add Accord links to any Accordance resource and add URL hypertext links to any website or file. Finally, when the paper is complete, or almost complete, we can print or export to a variety of standard formats. There are a couple of different ways to open an existing paper. I usually use the toolbar icon, as I find it the most convenient. The other common way to access existing papers is through the library, where they're all listed under My Papers. The only way to start a new paper is to use the toolbar button. Selecting New Paper opens an array of templates. Each of these templates is organized a bit differently. We can choose any of them, including blank. Once we choose a template, it opens in a new tab, like this one. At this point, I recommend naming the paper, which we can do either using the tab disclosure triangle or the action menu. The other items in the tab header are a display menu, which allows us to see all of the paper or just its different parts, a history menu, which allows us to revert instantly to recent versions of the paper. As you can see, Accordance automatically saves a version of the paper every five minutes. It does something similar for stacks. In so doing, it minimizes the risk of us losing valuable work. The tab header also contains a view menu that lets us view the paper at different resolutions and a button that will open the current stack. The assumption here is that we will probably be importing items from one of our stacks to the paper, so this button makes that more convenient. The Action menu also lets us save any paper as a template and to set the paper display. Let's look at those paper display settings. The paper display controls the paper's appearance. We can set the font and style of new text items. Existing items like those in the template will remain unchanged. We can also choose the style of the paper's endnotes and bibliography. We can then select the source text for the hypertext links and the markers for each outline level. Let's return to the paper display menu for just a minute. Papers have six possible elements. The first is title. Whether it is the title of the paper or the title of a main point, these elements cannot be hidden. Title is listed on the display menu, but it's both checked and grayed out, indicating that it's always visible. The next element is the explanation. It is a brief description of the content under the point. Third is content. It's the main body or writing of the point. The fourth is notes, which is just a place to 
put any other information that doesn't fit the other paper elements. We can show or hide any of these last three elements individually by selecting it on the display menu. We can also show or hide all three of them by selecting all. Sublevels, like this one, can also be opened or closed as a group. These include all the outline points that are not at the main level. That leaves only EndNotes and the bibliography. Both are automatically generated when an appropriate item is inserted from a stack. They are also automatically rearranged and renumbered when we add other items. Or, in the case of EndNotes, we rearrange sections. We can select an item by clicking just to the right of it. A light blue box will appear around the entire item. If it's an outline item, a plus sign will appear in the tab header. Clicking it will add another item to the outline at that level. One or two arrows will also appear to the right of the item. Clicking these will promote or demote the item's outline level. In addition, the item's action menu will appear. It allows us to hide the outline marker add a new item at the same level, add a new sub-item, and add a text item. Finally, a disclosure triangle may also appear here, but only if the item has sub-items. Clicking it will reveal the sub-items, but only the sub-items under this particular outline point. Clicking it again will hide them. In addition, we can use the cursor to move an entire item. Notice that the outline markers automatically update to match the new order. Before we can type in a paper, we have to select a text box. That's different than selecting an entire item. Remember that selecting an entire item displays a blue rectangle around it. Selecting a text box shows a blue box around just that text. The text background also changes. See the difference? We select a text box by clicking directly on the text. We can also double-click to select a word, and triple-click to select all the text in the box. Typing replaces the selected text just as it does in most programs. Pressing the Tab key selects the next text box. Pressing Shift-Tab selects the previous one. The Font and Style buttons at the top of the pane affect only the selected text, just as we would expect. All of these buttons are so familiar they scarcely need explanation, with one possible exception. Some people may not be familiar with the Keyboard Input Language button, which is located on the far left. It allows us to switch between our own default language, Hebrew and Greek. Alternately, we could also switch using the keyboard shortcut listed to the right of each language. English, Greek, and most other languages are written left to right. Hebrew, Arabic, and some other languages are written right to left. There are dedicated word processing programs for both. However, mixing the two kind of languages in the same document is very difficult. Paper is designed for writing in left to right languages, not right to lefts. It can handle individual right to left words and short right to left quotes like these. It does so by inserting individual boundary markers which I've represented here with these red dots. Text inside them is treated as right to left, outside as left to right. If your paper includes both kinds of languages, be sure to work around these boundary markers carefully, as not doing so can lead to some unexpected results. We can also check spelling in paper, as we can in any user document in accordance. The feature is under the search menu. Select it, and Accordance begins the spell check. We can save our papers in either plain text or rich text format by using Save as Text File. Most word processing programs can open and read either format. This allows us to open a paper with our favorite word processor for those final touches. Alternately, we can print a paper by saving it as a PDF or a PostScript file, then printing that file from a variety of different programs. Impressed? I hope so, as paper now allows us to research and write within Accordance. Imagine how much time we can save just by not having to switch back and forth, back and forth between Accordance and our favorite word processor. I don't know about you, but I've got better things to do with my time, like study the Bible. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode 
of lighting the lamp. 